Yo guys, welcome back with another replay with Linksy. We have a land battle taken off from the live stream. This was now, honestly live land battles are becoming more and more intense as we're going along. <laughs> However, before we go on, as you can see on the channel, I've been promoting a giveaway that I've been doing. Uh, shout out to Legido for actually sponsoring this giveaway. He's sponsoring a Roam to uh, Total War CD key to a lucky winner. So I number of you don't have room to and that's a shame because I'd like to play with you and well long story short there's check out the description box below there's the key it's on gleam just go on there fill in the stuff and you basically everything you fill you get a number of tickets and the way it works at the end of this on the 18th of May the tickets will be drawn and uh, one of you will be the lucky winner I'll contact you I'll send you the key everything I hope you uh yeah i hope this means we'll get to play together so yeah remember cd key down below and we'll get straight into it uh, without too much more so what do we have here we have a 4v4 we have 4v4 right yes we have a 4v4 we have armenia partia myself as talus uh Tullus, and then there is um uh Masesli up here we're fighting against uh the boyai arveni and Party here. Oh, there's Saba back here as well. Saba is just spammed heavy desert. Yeah, spa uh, I remember this now. As uh, uh, Saba spammed a crap ton of heavy desert lancers. But anyway, we decided to just start charging and start going. My uh, train of thought was there's Party, there's Saba, they're gonna bring Cav. And so I brought myself a lot of spear warriors and I just started pushing in. I had some no noble horse over here and I wanted to just help uh, our party who had a lot of cataphracts, number of horse archers and elephants to charge in. Party played really well in this game. Armenia on the other hand is on this side charging in with a lot of cartry X-Men, some Persian hoplites on each side and there's no minion riders for Masesli. Now Masesli got really lucky, charged forward and got control of this hill. Armenia is supporting that uh, their calf and they were keeping and screening off the boy eye off the hill and screening off this massive force of desert lancers. Now these guys if they charge into our rear would have caused pain but not in this case. On my end, I realized if I charge forward, I would be able to um, pretty much uh, push the lines in such a formation that would be beneficial to us. These Easter Slingers started firing straight away and, you know, peppering down the enemy. My own uh, Slingers, because I have Celtic Slingers, are at some point going to start firing into the side. I send in my tribal warriors to the flanks to try and hold the lines and start surrounding the enemy. I don't really have any good units in terms of damage with the exception of my Cav. Everything else is basically just there to cause damage, uh, sorry, not to cause damage, but to hold the line as long as possible. These guys are not something special, they're medium infantry, but they'll do very well against these Persian Hoplites. These uh, Nomingian riders get into the rear of the enemy and they basically start charging in into the flanks there. Persian Hoplites are trying to run into these Celtic skirmishers over there, doing damage. I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, that cavalry unit just... <laughs> their, their cav just got into the middle of the stuff. Anyway, as we're saying this, this is the focal point of the battle as you can see up here we have the high ground we have desert legionnaires and then back here there are four units of desert cohort definitely ready to do that damage the midi noble cav no, uh, armored cav riders and gal uh, well, i'm gonna try to pronounce this uh gauli gotuli jesus christ i'm not making an accent uh gotuli uh horse skirmishers let's use the maltese accent to do this I was trying to use a, a bit of an Arabic accent, but my Arabic accent is shit, frankly. Uh, that's a beautiful shot over here by these Eastern Slingers into those Celtic Slingers over there. On my end, I'm actually managing to break these Persian Hoplites, but I'm getting charged in by Noble Horse Archers. There are elephants all over the place, and I'm trying my best to support my allies' cataphracts with my Spear Warriors over there. Noble Horse, I'm running around supporting these cataphracts wherever I can. These... Um, Noble Horse Archers are microing as much as they can to try and damage this guy. And now I made a mistake over here. I should have come around and destroyed these Persian Hoplites with my Tribal Warriors. I threw a Pila into these elephants, killing a couple of the elephants, but I overcommitted troops into that flank, and that's gonna cost me. As I'm saying this, these Mijin Cav are gonna get charged in by uh, more Mijin Cav, actually. Oh, they actually bro. Oh, that was really lucky. That was. 
Yeah, that was very lucky the way they ran, away, ran around. These elephants are going berserk pretty much and uh, killing a lot. These are our Parthians elephants. The other elephants are doing a lot of damage to my own troops over here. 100 kills. This this pretty much uh, eliminated my unit of spear warriors over there. I do charge in with my tribal warriors and try to give some support to my bunch of units on this side. These Persian outlets should break any second now. I'm surrounding them. My uh, Celtic slingers are moving up, trying to provide some form of support towards the center of our line. As this is happening, um, our ally, the Masaisley player, I think it's Rasvan who was playing as Masaisley, I charged and he plays, he, this is his play style actually, uh, if I remember right, it was him. He played a lovely game, he charged in down the hill and started attacking these axe warriors. Desert Legionnaires charging into these axe warriors and they should win. Definitely good Pilatros and they're doing significant volumes of damage. This blob over there of our Venice is holding us. Uh, it's the anchor point in their line, honestly, since we managed to pretty much uh, demolish uh, most of Partia's uh, army. Their horse archers charging into my Celtic Stingers, which I was trying to sh snipe these guys off the wall, and I just panically charge everything in. Now, the problem with this is that since my cavalry was over here, and my cavalry is doing a really lovely job against this medium cab, right? It's noble horse, it's down to 30 men, but they, they've been fighting a while and they've been breaking units. However, I do not have what it need what I need to be able to deal with these horse archers who are just rummaging through my uh, skirmishers and dealing a lot of damage to my skirmishers, making me unable to truly break through. As I'm saying this, I notice that these um, uh, basically are many are breaking up, trying to come and attack my flanks. And I realize they're leaving their missile units quite exposed. As I'm saying this, also the boy are slowly being pushed back, and they've been basically, you know, these spear warriors that are left here to die. And desert cohort are charging in. No, in such a situation, this does, yeah, brilliant. There's he's doing it. He's doing it. He's pushing in from the rear, like from the flanks, flanking, and trying to charge. These camel catapher, royal camel archers have been pretty much killed with a peel. Three of them are left, but. They, <laughs> they're pretty much unbreakable. These heavy horse coming into the uh, our slingers over there definitely is a pain in the ass. And as I'm saying this, these elephants are charging in. They scan, they screened my noble horse, which I'm running after his Parchin horse archers. But that's what I needed because this elephants went berserk. Uh, Parchin's elephants did a beautiful job of, you know, keeping these horse archers occupied. Well, damaging all of that. My tribal warriors are starting to collapse because they're not actually a unit that is going to fight against Oathsworn and Win. And I get my charge on and I get. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful instant, pretty much routing these Celtic Stingers, which had so much ammunition left. And my general, this was a painful moment for my general. He's completely surrounded, the cataphracts on every single side. There's no chance of survival, there's only chance for glory. I think I believe. Yeah, I think I believe. Oh, what, what, what kind of language is that? At this point, um, uh, Partia is pretty much wiped out. There is not much left that they have. I mean, they're picking off my Celtic Slingers, which did nothing this game. But um, I still have the majority of my forces, and I'm just charging in, trying to support my general, who is actually still... I was certain my general was almost dead from this fight. Somehow he survived this madness. And, uh, I mean, I'm completely surrounded from every angle. Tribal warriors coming in. But, you know, when you sometimes you need to just double down, and this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm doubling down and charging into his forces, doing as much damage as I can, killing whatever I can, because I could not let those archers get into formation. And as we're saying that, these Gatelli skirmishers are coming into the rear. You know, you know, we're herding them away. The main problem we're facing is this massive charge of Devils that have Lancers. Now, please, if you have so many Lancers, do not charge in from one direction like this. It will do a lot of damage to the first two units you hit. But then your charge is stopped. They're absolutely useless in melee. They're not going to do us do much. What you could have done is surrounded us and started hitting us from every side because our cavalry is pretty much gone. We do not have anything that can catch you, and you could definitely easily kill most of our troops. At this point, we're just doing as much damage as we can. My general, I could have saved him. I swear to God, I didn't realize that. <laughs> but now he's just completely surrounded. There's only this Cartley Axeman from Romania trying to save him, but he broke. And most of my units at this point are gone. I mean, I still have some tribal warriors over here, which are partially alive, but it's not, it's not healthy. My spear warriors are routing in mass. 
So I was very worried about this blob over here. Because uh, even in the hands of an experienced player, tribal sling Ah, sorry, I'm from Slingers. These are, these are depression lights. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Royal Camel Archers and Desert Heavy Lancer Lancers are going to do a lot of damage. No, it just insane volumes of damage from Saba could have been given. The Noble Horse over here is desperately uh, trying to break whatever unit it can, but more Desert Legioners are coming in. These Desert Legioners up here did significant amount of damage. These, uh, these uh, Missile Calf over uh, on the rear are just trading not very well with Parchin of Horse Archers, which have more range. I think these guys have 125 range and these guys have 80, but they of course have more damage. My last few units are charging in, trying to break whatever they can find and these cataphracts are ch charged in dealing huge devastating damage to these Osworn which are chain routing at this point and this is almost victory for us bounce power has shifted massively in our favor the battlefield was very interesting on this side where we had four, the four main units encounter and then the massacre on this side i believe this might this is a i'm gonna take this Take a few good shots. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm upholding a few more screenshots every now and again to... Uh, I was actually gonna grab my army and charge for it. I'm uploading a few more screenshots every now and again to uh, Reddit as well. Um, on the Total War Reddit. Uh, just to get to, you know, just to share the love. Share the love. Arveni is definitely the best player on... Oh, I'm gonna become the guy that's known for saying definitely a million times. And, highlighting it as well. Um, Arveni was, of course, the best player on their end. Um, on our end, I believe that it was the uh, Parchin and the Masay Slim player. Mo I definitely... <laughs> this is just... It just stuck there in my head, like, oh, I just covered another stream before this, and I was like, oh, not another stream, another video upload, and I was like, oh my god, my head. All right, I could have... Perhaps, I'm trying to think of words, but my mind is just a... Need to read more. Read more, kids. Reading is important. I could perhaps have done a play differently, uh, especially not spending most of my uh, foot troops trying to kill his elephants. I feel very confident what I did in the middle. Uh, of course, there, I think I, I won the engagement. On this side, I blobbed up a little bit too much. I should have pulled back a little, found a gap, and charged it in. Only... Only units that are left are these uh, desert cat uh, oatsworn and these marine desert uh, camel cataphracts, which are breaking. And I believe this is game. Yes, this is game. Five seconds left. This was a beautiful map to play on. Honestly, I uh, quite enjoyed it. Uh, we played the siege battle in that settlement over there. I think it's pull the veto. Um, I'm not sure. I forgot. Then we played the land battle outside. Let's see the result screens. So, yeah, I I got second highest kills on our team. Again, I've been playing a lot on large units. I should change it to ultra, which would change the balance of the battle uh, significantly. So, so on my end, I got 1,400 kills. Most of my kills came from my cav and a little bit from my tribal warriors that lived. I had five units of tribal warriors. These two did nothing. Adrian, um, Adrian was really good. I mean, he only got uh, 770 kills, but he did really good in distracting the enemy and providing support where needed. And uh, Razvan, wait, Razvan, yeah, uh, we'll talk about Janna soon. Razvan, of course, did just an insane amount of damage because he was fighting and the um, Oatsworn over here. Now, Janna did amazingly well because he was fighting against Partia, which had so much more mobile cap. They had four units of, um, you know, horse archers, Partian archers, which were just wrecking havoc in our lines. And he had a much High, much uh, more elite uh, army, but of course that was countered by Wizzy G over here. JJJ Oatsworn just bringing a huge amount of Oatsworn troops, and uh, pff, I mean he did really well on their team. Best guy on their team, Joseph Tang, uh, really really <laughs> uh, nice guy. He's a loyal subscriber. Uh, Doctor Wolf CSGO. Um, let's see, he held a lot considering how well he was. Surrounded and pixelated the Polo fan 2015. Honestly, I don't know what the hell you're doing, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. You used your cavalry so badly, so badly. I don't understand. Uh, 
just just painful but we'll see we'll see we'll see uh what can i say like we'll play more with you of course but you your cav was just absolutely horrendous maybe it was just this uh, just a meme army composition because some people do that meme armies for land battles but you know it's just could have split up his army a bit more maybe he needed a little bit more missile cav his camel archers uh did a little bit of work but these guys as i said the first two that hit did work work but the rest didn't pay for themselves anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching if you did enjoy the content subscribe like comment share yada 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 doodle -doo. um yeah send me your sub uh, your subscriptions send me your submissions on totalwarbro at gmail.com and i hope you guys are doing well and i guess this is it now oh, quick outro today see you tomorrow guys bye bye